Hello everyone, and welcome to our video about the basics of targeted therapy. Importantly, this is an introductory animation, or as we call it, Targeted Therapy 101. If you have any questions, please remember to talk to your healthcare providers. In this process, you are the team captain, but you have many other team members alongside you. If you want to learn more about other types of cancer treatment, please check out the other videos in this series and the other ones available at GRACE. Our bodies are made up of millions of cells, each with a specific job, which creates our organs and all the tissues connecting them. Unfortunately, throughout our lifetime, certain cells may suffer damage in their DNA, the script that contains all the information about our body and each specific cell. When this occurs, cancer can develop. This happens when certain cells start to grow and divide uncontrollably. These cancer cells have unique features that make them different from the remaining normal cells. Scientists have discovered that cancer cells often have specific features that drive their growth. These features can be called targets. These targets can be proteins that stay on the inside or outside of the cell. Genes, which are the units of our DNA, or other molecules that are essential for the cancer cells to survive and multiply. Imagine these targets as unique locks on the cancer cell. Once cancer happens, these locks open, leaving no obstacles for cancer to grow. Before starting your cancer treatment, your doctor will perform tests to identify if specific targets are present in your cancer. These usually involve taking a small sample of your cancer tissue, called a biopsy, and sometimes also a blood sample. These samples are then analyzed in a laboratory to look for the presence of specific genetic changes or proteins that are known to drive cancer growth, the so-called targets. It's important to know that while medicine evolves rapidly, we have not found all the targets that participate in cancer. Because of that, some cancers have more targeted therapy options than others. For example, lung cancer has a wide range of targeted therapies available due to the number of known genetic targets. Other cancers with important targets are breast cancer and colon cancer. Now that we reviewed the basics about cancer and targets, we will explain what targeted therapy is. It is a type of cancer treatment that uses drugs designed to precisely target these specific locks. Unlike traditional chemotherapy, which affects many rapidly dividing cells, targeted therapy focuses on these unique targets on cancer cells. If a target is a highly specific lock, the targeted therapy drug is a key. When the targeted therapy drug, the key, finds its target, the lock, it fits perfectly. This binding action blocks the signals that tell the cancer cell to grow and divide, effectively stopping the cancer in its tracks. Imagine the lock as a signaling pathway that tells the cell to grow. By locking the lock with the key, we block and disrupt the signaling pathway and prevent the cancer from growing. In doing so, targeted therapy helps your body to fight and kill the cancer cells. Targeted therapy drugs come in different forms, most of them are pills that you take by mouth, while others are given through an intravenous or IV line. Your doctor will determine the best type of targeted therapy for your specific cancer based on the targets present. Normal healthy cells are usually spared from the effects of these drugs. However, this is not a perfect process. Targeted therapies can still affect some normal cells and organs. Because of that, some side effects may happen. Targeted therapy is generally well tolerated, but as we mentioned, it can still cause side effects. As there are multiple targeted therapies available, and the number is only expanding, the list of all side effects can be extensive. But some of the most frequent side effects of targeted therapy include skin rashes, diarrhea, fatigue, and changes in blood pressure. It's important to communicate any side effects you may experience to your healthcare team so they can help manage them effectively. Your healthcare team will provide you with supportive care to help manage any side effects and make you as comfortable as possible. This may include medications such as pills or creams, lifestyle changes, and other supportive therapies. Targeted therapy tends to have fewer side effects than traditional chemotherapy. Remember, your healthcare team is here to support you throughout your cancer treatment journey. Targeted therapy is a powerful tool in the fight against cancer, offering a more precise and less toxic approach to treatment. 
By understanding how targeted therapy works and working closely with your healthcare team, you can take an active role in your cancer care.